Okay, so um, I thought I'd make a video that's pretty dang controversial. I talk about this issue a, a bit with people, and um, I rarely find someone that disagrees with me. I mean, that agrees with me. It's very rare for someone to agree with me. So I thought I'd go through some of my ideas on self-teaching, okay? Now, my premise is this. Um, I believe school's a waste of time, okay? Yes, any kid watching this, I am going to preach this. Kids, drop out of school, okay? I went through school. I learned nothing, okay? In fact, school taught me that all knowledge can only come from self-education. You only learned anything that you're curious about. And so I am an advocate of curiosity-guided learning, okay? Therefore, um, tons of people disagree with me with these ideas. They say, I learned a lot in school, and I always run them through the, the, the tests, okay? In fact, after, you know, 12 years of education in math, most people only have a fourth grade education in math at best, okay? After 12 years of history, they could probably fill up, you know, everything they know about history in 15 minutes, okay? So we learn that really just school is a giant waste of time, and um, that anytime you self-educate, if you're ever interested in a certain topic, you will learn so much more about that topic because you are interested in it, okay? So, once again, I'm an advocate of self-teaching. I get all these emails recently saying, hey, can you give me lessons, whether they live by me in Riverside, California, um, or just saying, hey, I'll give you lessons online. And while it would be nice for money, honestly, I'd rather uh, pest con I own a pest control company in Riverside, California. If you live near Riverside, California, give me a call. I'd love to uh, take care of your pest control with my company. So um, to me, I, I don't desire to teach voice for money. I like to think I'm very, very good at it. But um, honestly, teaching, because I'm such an advocate of self-education, I'm not a big advocate of teaching. I'm an advocate of leaving the materials out there, like the videos that I made, and for people to take those and apply them to their own singing and stuff like that. I, I'm an advocate of helping people. I am not an advocate of being someone's teacher, okay? And that is the difference, okay? So um, so I thought I would uh, give a, a little uh, lesson on what you sh what you do need, okay, to self educate in in a uh, in some th in in voice. Imagine you were going to teach yourself how to read, okay? What you need to teach yourself how to read is just some resources on how to read, just some basics, or you could just test it and stuff like that. It'd be nice to be around someone who can read, so you could just ask them questions every once in a while. Just go up and ask a question. And the, the, the person that, that um, answers it shouldn't give you lofty lectures, but just briefly answers the questions that you have. And so just to help you over road bumps. I believe voice should be the exact same. And I found that the students that I've taught in the past, because um, I don't teach anymore and I refuse to teach anymore, the students I've taught in the past when we've taken more closer to this approach have learned much, much more efficiently, okay? The thing is, what you need is you need to take responsibility for your own learning. When you have a teacher, often you put the responsibility and the onus on him to or her. I don't know anything, or even if the thing, a robot, it doesn't matter, okay? You put the onus on them to educate you. You need to stop doing that, okay? The onus to learn anything is on you, okay? You will not learn a dang thing unless you don't want to learn it, okay? And you have to trust in your own ability to learn, and you have to trust in your own uh, intellect and curiosity, okay? Now, to teach yourself voice, if you're very interested and curious in learning voice, the things I will, I will uh, suggest is get recordings of people singing, okay? Of the people that you like their voice. Find some people you like their voice, get those recordings, okay? Listen to them, um, see what they do, okay? Next, get a webcam just like this, okay, and sing into it, okay? I'm going to suggest a webcam so you can watch yourself singing along with um, along with uh, listening to yourself. Listening to yourself is obviously most important, but it gives you something to look at while you sing if you record it on video, okay? And then it would be nice to have someone that you could ask questions to every once in a while. So you know where you're at and you know where to get to, okay? Also, it helps to have other people criticize you and say things um, to criticize you. If you're very interested, buy a couple books on how the voice works, on teaching yourself voice. Obviously, my videos will be helpful. 
Um, but really, getting a teacher is just going to kind of be a waste of money, in my opinion, especially after I got four years of voice lessons. You know, Everything I learned of value, anything I've learned of value, I taught myself. I taught myself piano. I took one semester of lessons in college, which was a waste, which taught me not to get more lessons. Yet I play piano fluently, read music very well. I taught myself math, reading, and all that stuff. Uh, economics, philosophy, psychology, you know, I was interested in all those subjects, never took a class in any of those whatsoever in high school or college because um, college, because I was a music major, we weren't required to take as many general ed. But what I did is I became interested in them and I bought a ton of books on those subjects and I read them. Yeah, Harry Potter's up there too and some other things. But, um, you know, I just became interested and I, I educated myself. And obviously, you know, oh, not obviously, but I started acquiring a lot of skills, a lot of knowledge, and I applied those to my life. I even have an, another account which uh, I'm much, much more interested in. If you go to the description books, I'll actually even leave my account where I talk about philosophy, history, and stuff like that. So, I, uh, I, I think, and I, I know this, this approach works, okay? And I, in fact, think every other approach is a waste of time. I actually believe teaching is just kind of a, a scam. Everyone wants to tell you you need teaching in order to learn, and it's just all bullcrap. You don't need teaching in order to learn. You need your curiosity. You need books. You need stuff like that. You don't need anyone teaching you what you need to learn. What you need is just people to ask questions to. And that's even just nice, because usually you can get most of that in books. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Once again, I'll, 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 I'll suggest to everyone, you know, drop out of school. Um, teach yourself. <laughs> I know sometimes, you know, if you're a doctor, if you want to be a doctor, you have to get a degree. But otherwise, gosh, I went through school and it was just the, the biggest waste of time in my life. And that's all that school ever taught me was to waste my time. So um, I, I expect, you know, leave comments. Obviously, I expect people to disagree with me. In fact, if you did, if you if everyone totally agrees with me, that's just uh, not what I would expect. So um, I apologize for all the people I haven't respond to their emails. Um, honestly. Uh, this account, I do it for my students. Um, I got too many emails on it. I, I'll, I'll answer some every once in a while. Um, and if it's interesting, I'll answer it. But the thing is, is, you know, honestly, teaching voice, weirdly, while I love singing and while I love music, teaching voice, teaching, doesn't really uh, do much for me. My other account, I make videos every other day. And, um, and those topics interest me a lot. And so I talk about them, and I would always answer emails and comments on those. So... That's about it. I just thought I'd reply. Um, I'll probably still make some more videos answering some questions here and there. Um, or, you know, if I ever get really bored or, you know, my students in my class want to learn some stuff, I might post some videos. But um, that's about it.